So if I have, here's a really simple tree, okay? It only has three nodes. So I have a multiplication, I have the number two, and I have the number three, okay? It's a real simple tree, only three nodes. If I do an in order traversal of that tree, so what that means is I visit the left child, and then I visit the root, and then I visit the right child. So an in order traversal would give me two times three, okay? I can do a pre-order traversal. And so in a pre-order traversal, I visit the root, and then I visit the left, and then I visit the right. And so that would give me times two, three. And then I can do a post-order traversal. And so in a post-order traversal, I visit the left child, the right child, and the root. So I would get two, three times. Now, do you guys see where this is going? Have you seen this before? So if I get rid of pre-order traversal, so here's like our standard calculator, and here's our postfix expression. And so with an expression tree, what we can do is we can um, write out a very complex expression and describe that in a tree, just like you guys did in the assignment. And so here's a tree. So, oh, and I've lost one. Let's take a 50 off. So we've got 22 divided 11 plus a 3 times plus a 6 and a 5 minus a 50, okay? Now, if I go through that tree, for example, in order, the way that I would write this is I would say it's 22 divided by 11, and I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to add 3, and then I'm going to multiply by that, and clearly I'm going to multiply that by 6 plus 5. I'm not going to multiply it by 6 and then add 5. And then I'm going to subtract 50. That's my in-order traversal of the tree. And of course, I can do a post-order traversal of the tree, in which case it would be 22, 11, divide, 3 plus, 6, 5 plus times, 50 minus. So we've taken an infix expression, and using a tree, we've converted it to postfix. Okay? So an alternate way of doing a calculation on a tree.